Welcome back, guys. Today, I'm playing a story about my uncle. A game I have played before, and I loved the game. It was a beautiful game, it played well, all kinds of things. And I was honestly surprised, considering who made the game. I should have known it would have been different than... It was made by Coffee State, the same company that made Goat Simulator. But I should have known it would be different when I first when I've played this before because Coffee Stain made Goat Simulator as a joke originally. It was supposed to be released for a certain amount of time and then be taken down. So <laughs> I'm just going to get right into this. Uh hopefully my mic is working just as good as it was during the couple tests I just did. This is the new Dad? microphone. Aren't you sleeping yet? I'm gonna mute my it's mic time for, this. for bed, honey. Dad, I can't sleep. Can you tell me a bedtime story? All right. What do you want to hear? Something, something about an adventure. Hmm. I think I know just the thing. When I was your age, my biggest dream was to follow my uncle Fred on one of his adventures around the world. One day. He disappeared. Okay, I know if I walk forwards, he's gonna keep talking again, so I'm gonna finish what I was saying. I actually don't know what I'm saying. But, n forgive me if there's not much of me talking for this first section. He's the. It is a story based game. The story is important to understand the game. Unless you're solely focused on the gameplay. But I don't want you guys to be. I want you guys to get the story as well as the gameplay as well as me talking. So, um, forgive me if there's less talking as as I'm going to just go through and let him tell his story to his daughter. I stepped into the lobby of my uncle's house. It lay just across the hill from where I lived with my mother, your grandmother. She had tried to keep me from going, but I wanted to see, see if Fred was home yet from his latest adventure. My uncle used to send me postcards from his long journeys. Greetings from Nepal, Galapagos, Kilimanjaro, the Amazon River. This was the first time he had left without a word, without sending cards. I had visited Uncle Fred's house countless of times, but in the locker, which usually was closed, I found something I hadn't seen before. It was an adventure suit. It resembled the one that Fred used, but smaller in size. Curiosity got the better of me, and I tried it on. It fit like it had been custom made for me. The most mysterious room of my uncle's house was the observatory. There he kept his newest experiments, and right now it held a pad used for disposing of garbage. Uncle Fred had warned me not to touch any of his things, but, as I said, I was a curious child. Oops, I accidentally ended the recording, so there will be a slight jump, but, um, that, that should have been a warning enough uh, to flip the switch back, or at least attempt to. Um, instead, um, kid just, I never noticed there was something down there. Out of all the times I've played this game before, I've only played it like twice, and I didn't finish it all the way through the second time. Um, there's gonna be more talking, so I'm gonna mute it again, um, as soon as the loading screen's over. But I never noticed there was anything down there. I landed with a crash, but thanks to the suit I wasn't hurt. I had no idea where the pad had taken me, but back then, I didn't care so much about where I was going, or 
how I would get home. The suit protected me from falls on the ground, but not in water. I couldn't swim with this thing on. Best be careful. But what I want to know is, like, why he like I can understand adventuring somewhere like this. To in a suit like this, but I'm sure that someone had been here before me. Someone had built these bridges and carved these symbols, but who? Where were they now? Um, but... Uh, dang! But, um... What was I saying? I don't know. But, do you guys see what I mean? It's a beautiful game. Like, we're in a cave. Oh. We're in a cave right now. I remember what I was saying. Sorry. But, um... But, um... I can understand adventuring somewhere like this, in a suit like this. But if you think about it, how was he going around adventuring in a suit like this? Um, while, uh, at, at, on our world, or where, in normal places. I thought that would be something to talk, he talked about there, so I, I went quiet. Wait, no. The, my glove disappeared. That means that I Yeah, my glove disappears. How did you know Fred had been there? Well, I found a small campsite where Fred must have slept before going further into the caves. I knew it was him because the place was littered with empty packages of his favorite hiking foods, canned soups, tube food and instant noodles. Tube food. That sounds gross. Oh well. It's not that bad. One winter, Uncle Fred and I went hiking through the mountains, and we were surprised by a blizzard. We were stuck in a small cabin for two days, and all we ate was tube food and cold canned goulash as well. Your grandmother was worried sick, but I thought it was all very exciting. But, um, actually I can understand going to like Mount Kilimanjaro in a suit like this, slightly, except for if you're mountain climbing, it would, wouldn't it kind of weigh you down? Don't take my word for it. I, like I, I, I'm not like I, I don't. I've wanted to do things like this, um, but I just I don't have one the time or the money or because I'm I'm pretty much broke. The power core I found activated the suit's grappling device when I picked it up. It must have been left here by my uncle. And, as I've said, I've played this game before. The grappling device left a sort of symbol everywhere I grappled. I noticed similar symbols already there in the cave. And I was getting more and more certain that this place was where Fred had gone. I'm usually... I... if he's speaking or there is a ton of talking going around, I will usually mute the mic so that you guys can hear it better. Um, I almost didn't make that. I think that's the way I'm supposed to go, but I want to go this way, just because of that. You can tell I've I've played this enough to actually understand some of the physics of, of this thing. Not all of them, granted, uh, but I, s I do understand some.
Uh, last time he spoke something here. Dang it. Uh, yeah, last, last time I played, I'm pretty sure he spoke something there. Those are a collectible thing that if I collect, the more of them I collect, um, Uh, the more unlockables you get. I'm not exactly sure what most of the unlockables are, because I've only ever unlocked the one. But... Oh, yeah, I have to wait for that. Mm. But, I like how they, um... This, keep in mind, this is an older game, and they actually took into account, um, uh, speed lines, which some games still don't take that into account. Wee! No, I wanna, like, I don't know what game it is, but, um, I saw Jack Jacksepticeye play it, and it was for the HTC Vive, and I really wanted to play it because it seemed super awesome. Not even because it was for the Vive, and, you, and some of you from my past uh, mentioning it will know that I would would love if I had the ability to, to purchase the Vive and play the games for you. Uh, but... One of my biggest problems is that is I can't afford it. It's I think Steam last time I checked, Steam had it listed for like seven hundred dollars, and I honestly cannot afford that. Which is unfortunate, because I would love to... Damn it. <laughs> I would love to play it for you guys. Like, I'd love to play Job Simulator, all th th which comes with it. And all kinds of other of uh, VR games. Which I think J um, Jacksepticeye mentioned it as well. Um... <laughs> Uh, I, I don't want there to be exclusive games f for, like, the Oculus Rift and such, because I'd prefer it to be, I just select it, like, not select, but I could just choose which one I preferred, the Oculus Rift versus the HTC Vive. <sighs> because... Oops. There's this. Because having to choose or buy, like, if you, having to choose is much easier and much less expensive than having to buy both to play all the virtual reality games. The unfortunate thing is, um, last time I checked, I'm pretty sure like, the, the Oculus Rift, um, didn't have its, the controllers they, they advertised yet, like, um, no one, no one that ordered them received the controllers yet, even if, even the people that have already received the, their, uh, consumer rifts. And that's actually kind of irritating, because even if you had to delay it, My, the way I see it is, you probably should have just delayed it and been like, the controllers, we don't have enough of them at the moment to fill the order. So, like, d delay how, 
until when people are going to receive it. Don't ship them an incompleted product. It's like if I ordered an ornament, ornamental sword, where the entire thing was supposed to be, I wouldn't want them to ship me just the blade when it was supposed to be the sheath, the blade, and everything, uh, because they didn't have enough sheaths. Because then there's no guarantee I'd ever get the sheath without having to either purchase the sheath separately or, um, some other stuff. Or, um, purchase an entirely new blade. I don't remember how far I went. How long have I been going? Hopefully it's not that long. Okay, yeah. The first time I, uh... I tried recording this once before, I didn't get this far, because I screwed These up. blue lights, did Fred put them here, or was somebody else here as well? Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I will explore this, the, the blue lights, the, fan, the calm music, listen to this. Super awesome, right? I like it. I like the entire game. I like the characters, which you have not met any of them yet, except for this guy and his daughter. But... Mm, to, to each his own, blah blah. Um, I'm gonna go through this... I'm going to go through this next time. Uh, goodbye guys. I think this is another... I really hope the mic recorded at the same quality as it was before. Uh, when I was doing my tests. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. If you enjoyed this video, and you would like to see me be extremely excited about my new microphone, even though I did not set it up pro properly, and the video quality is balls, if you want to watch the video just because of what series it's from, so you can hear what, um, happened in the series, by the way, it's from pa my Path of Exile series, Click the video on the left. There is no video on the right today because for the same reason that there was no end card yesterday. If, regardless of these factors, you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a comment, telling me what I'm doing wrong or right. If you want to be alerted to my new videos and other things, click the subscribe button at the top. Hope you all enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.